<laughs> it's the first Saturday of the year, an important one for a man who for the last five months has had to change his daily routine after losing the Marisabit governorship position to a long-time political nemesis. President Kenyatta's announcement yesterday marking a sharp turn for Kur Yatani's view of life. It's quite surprising. I was really surprised. And I say it must have been uh, a very strange uh, turn of uh, event. Friday afternoon, the former county chief had just returned home from lunch with his son and a friend. It was a normal afternoon until... I just sat in front of my TV and looked at it. Then I saw uh, some interruption that the president is going to address the nation. But I thought it's about the textbook, uh, that he was going to launch the textbook. For position of cabinet secretary, the Honorable John Munez, the Honorable Okur Yatani. So I was quite excited. I, I, I ran around and I called my son, say, you come, come, come and sit with me. Then I called my wife and I called my son. And then within a very short time now, I started getting calls and messages. Right. Uh, I wasn't sure until, you know, the, the repeat of uh, the bulletin. Yatani tells us his elder son had just traveled back to the United Kingdom to attend school, and now school has to wait. Although he left just two days ago to back to school, he said I have to support him get a ticket and come back and celebrate and go back after two or three more days. Mm -hmm. So he's arriving this evening. Right. Mm. During the presidential campaigns in Marsabit ahead of the August general election, President Kenyatta had promised Yatani and current Governor Mohamed Mohamed a government job whomever lost. The cabinet nominee, however, was left guessing. I said a senior position can be anything, can be a chairman of a paraceto, can be an ambassador where I was, can be any other position, but also remotely, can also be a cabinet secretary. The promise that the president, the deputy promised, promised them is here. We are very grateful. In Kajado County, a community is in celebration, led by Governor Joseph Lenko, a people grateful for the nomination of their son in former DPP Kiriako Tobiko. We are very pleased to see one of our own, uh, Tobiko Kiriako. I'm happy for my former colleagues, the likes of uh, Balala, uh, Roti, Keter, and so on. It is a good day. It's a good way to start the year. Tobiko taking the moment to spend time with his father in Kajado East to inform him of the latest development while seeking his blessings. Speaking to Citizen TV on phone, Tobiko told of how he had taken a one week off from work only to be called to State House. An anxious prosecutor had no clue of what was in store and when it was put to him he was being proposed to be a CS, he took time to reflect. Tobiko says he resolved to accept the offer and effectively submit a district resignation letter, but still concedes he had never thought of being a government minister. And after 12 years' tenure at the helm of public prosecutions, Tobiko takes pride in his tenure, saying he has laid a strong foundation necessary for the institution to thrive. Former Trukana Senator John Munez has also welcomed his nomination. So has Education Cabinet Secretary Fran Matiangi, who took to his Twitter account thanking the president for retaining him and reassigning him. Matiangi pledged to do his best in contributing to the delivery of the Big Four agenda of President Kenyatta. The three cabinet nominees will face questions of suitability before the Parliamentary Committee on Appointments. Despite Yatani having featured in a list of 175 public officials accused of abuse of office and resources, he is confident it will not be a hindrance to his ascension. But all those matters were duly investigated and uh, there were no further uh, progress. But uh, we believe the members of parliament will be guided by facts. Sam Gitoko Citizen, Weekend.